Poison dart frogs, cane toads, fire salamanders, and newts are classified together as amphibians. There are about 8,400 species of amphibians, of which more than 7,400 of these are frogs. So how do amphibians get their name? The word amphibian comes from the Greek word amphibios, which means double life. This is because amphibians live the first part of their lives in water and the later part of their lives on land. Amphibian eggs are usually laid in water. The young that hatch from the eggs are called larvae. Frog larvae are called tadpoles. Salamander larvae are called eps. Amphibian larvae live in water and have gills to take in the oxygen they need. As the larvae grow, their body changes form through a process called metamorphosis. Their tails get shorter, they develop hind legs and forelegs. Their gills develop into lungs, allowing them to take in the oxygen they need from the air. As adults, many amphibians move from water onto the land and may return to water to reproduce. Amphibians are cold-blooded or ectothermic. This means they cannot regulate their own body temperature. Instead, they rely on the warmth of the sun to heat their bodies. In colder months, some amphibians hibernate either at the bottom of lakes or in mud as they wait for the warmer weather. A quick joke before I go. What kind of music do frogs like best? Hip hop. Don't forget to subscribe.